Hello and welcome to this MindFusion screencast, where we'll build an interactive course schedule in Java with the JPlanner library. For the purpose of optimization, we have defined a Java window with four J checkboxes, a label, and a choice control. Here is the code for them. We also have an AWT calendar instance, and we have added the JPlanner jar library as an external library to the project. Let's look at the first lines of initialization code. We create the calendar and we set its view and the theme. The calendar has to be added to the container of the window. We run the application. The timetable has a single day. Let's show a week. We add seven consecutive days to the dates collection. The duration and date time classes are not referenced. We import them. The other settings are intuitive to understand. We set the snap interval to one minute, no time spans, and specify that the calendar should have seven visible columns. Now let's run the application. The timetable looks fine. We will now populate the list with the teachers. For this purpose, we will create a list with contact objects. Here is the method where we create 10 teachers in the four different subjects. Note that the ID of each teacher starts with the subject they teach. We add the contact to the contacts of the calendar and to the contact name to the combo box of the application. Now all our contacts show in the combo box. What we want to do now is to filter the contacts according to the checkboxes. That is easy to do because the ID of each contact lets us easily recognize which is the subject. We have defined the listeners for the checkboxes and here's how we handle the actions. If a checkbox is deselected, we will remove the contacts, both from the contact collection of the calendar and from the combo box. When we detect that the checkbox is selected, we do the reverse, add a contact to the contact collection. As we run the application, you can see that the contact list changes as we select and deselect subjects. Now let's do the following. Make the name of the teacher appear automatically on the appointment that was created. We must add a listener to the calendar and handle the appropriate action. In this case, it is item created. The JPlanner API provides an adapter class for this purpose. The item created method checks the name of the teacher and adds the corresponding contact to the contact list for the calendar. Finally, it sets the header text of the appointment. We also need to specify that items will be created automatically when the user drags the mouse. Now we can see that it works okay. But it will be better if we draw some image that will indicate what kind of lesson is booked. Now we need to handle the draw event. There we choose from a list of image files that I've copied in the base directory and draw them. We check the type of the event and look for the correct image. Then we create an AWT image from it and draw on the bounding rectangle of the event with a vertical offset of 20 points.
As you can see, when we change the subject, the appropriate image gets drawn. And a final touch, no classes on Sunday. Let's forbid the user from creating classes on Sunday. We'll handle the item creating action. Let's see if any of the dates of the event falls on Sunday, which is the day with index zero in the week. Now when we try to create a class on Sunday, we get a warning and the action is canceled. This is the end of the tutorial. Check the video description for links to download the sample and the control. Thank you for watching.